rebranding, boss mode broken down, and if you stay to the end, a few little tips that you may not have known about conversion.ai, I mean Jarvis. Okay, so the Jarvis team has just made some huge announcement and they've just released a bunch of new features that's taking the Jarvis AI copywriting tool to the next level. So let's go ahead, break all of this down. And if you want to support my channel and say a little thank you for creating and summarizing all of this information, I'll leave a link below so you can go ahead and purchase Jarvis. So first things first, they've rebranded conversion.ai to Jarvis. Why have they done it well basically people can't be bothered typing in conversion.ai so most people are already referring it to Jarvis so they thought hey why not so you might be asking what boss mode actually is and pull it simply it's basically the pro mode but on steroids in other words they've taken away the bulk sum of limitations that the pro mode limited you to and they just said hey you be your own boss we're gonna give you kind of like admin access to all the features that we've been using and stuff like that and we're just gonna let you go chaotic generate as many words as you want and also we're gonna integrate some commands to make your life a lot easier and streamline the whole process it's all fun and games me talking about this but i'm gonna jump straight over to boss mode because i've already upgraded and i'll get into the pricing a little later on uh, but let's go into boss mode and i want to just show you some of these uh, functionalities Okay, so I just want to show you this little icon at the bottom right called Pro Tips. Now, uh, I'm going to keep this open because I'm going to be using all these shortcut commands uh, just to show you how much easier it is to actually use those commands and so uh, you can kind of keep up of what it is I'm actually doing and I don't lose you at any point okay so ultimately the two core things I'm going to be using is right next sentence and run a Jarvis command okay you do have all of these here with really simplified descriptions of what this command actually does but ultimately it's just going to be these two that I'm going to be using showing you kind of all the changes in boss mode as we go i think that will be a lot easier um i think that'll be a lot easier to absorb so the very first thing that you may have already noticed is the bottom left here the compose button they've actually removed the limitations of the uh, compose button in other words you no longer need to trigger that compose button you can just keep pressing the compose button and it will keep creating text another thing that they've also removed is the 600 um back characters in other, so it no longer takes these 600 characters from the text before to form the next bit of content it's actually now a few thousand characters where it will analyze all of that content and keep producing content along those lines so now you've got a broader horizon and it can absorb more knowledge for you to create more accurate results okay so i'm going to pretend that i'm creating a blog uh, all about uh, training a dog. I'm just going to create the first line so we can start getting Jarvis uh, accustomed to what it is we want to talk about. Okay, so. In okay, so now I want, I'm going to use the shortcut on my keyboard which is control j which is going to expand the sentence this is actually no different to opening up the template section uh, opening up the sentence expander and it will now do that okay so i'm going to teach you three different methods depending on the amount of time you have okay so i'm not overly keen on that so i'm just going to delete all of that and redo it again now actually i did something wrong there and i could have just pressed control and back uh, and forward slash and that would have done it there okay so it's just uh, generated this text here and i actually really like that so now the next step is uh, create an outline of this blog okay so i'm going to do create an outline of the above text and then i'm going to do control and enter so what it's done is that it's broken down this text here into four areas so you can see in this blog i'm going to teach you how to train your dog to sit like a champ well that's the first uh, that's the first sentence there are a number of training techniques and methods that you can use to teach your dog to sit and again 
it's done that here and so forth but that's not all it can do you see we can actually delete that and we can actually reference other templates as well so let's say we wanted the pass um template to be used here so you can actually put use the pass template for the above text okay and then control and enter and as you can see p for problem a for agitate and s for solution so you can actually speed up your workflow two to three times as fast by using these built-in commands that you can literally just tell Jarvis, hey Jarvis, write this, write that. The next thing is, right, we've done our pass, we've done our intro, let's actually teach people the method. So, I want to do is I want to create a a, a headline um, for this next paragraph. So, again, I'm just going to do create a headline from the text above, okay? And again, control and enter. Okay, so now what you can see is that it's created three headlines, how to train your dog to sit, positive reinforcement is the best way, and the easy approach to training your puppy. So I'm going to take these away and I'm gonna use this headline. Now the next step is, well, I actually want to create a listicle of how to train your dog to sit. So again, I'm just gonna use the built-in command and I'm just gonna, to be honest, the command is actually very flexible, basically just telling Jarvis what you want it to create. So if you want it to reference a uh, a template, you say which template you want it to reference. And I don't think it really matters um, the exact way you say it as long as you use the reference and it's clear intent of what you want Jarvis to do. So I want Jarvis to create a, uh, a numbered list of how to train a dog to sit. So create a numbered list on how to train your dog to sit. Control and enter. And as you can see, it's now done the four steps. And you can see it's pretty accurate. I mean, up uh, around about this area, it's not 100% um, accurate, but with a little bit of tweaking, it's just basically created the first steps for that. So let's say we wanted to take this title now and instead of how to train your dog to sit, we're gonna say how to train your dog to lay down, okay? And again, we just repeat the process. So create a number list uh, for the above text, okay? Cause this is the above, uh, I'm just gonna put the above sentence Okay, and let's see what it produces. It's now created numbers for that. And if you wanted to expand on the text, you can just press Control and J or Command and J, and it will, just like using the template, it would do, it would be the sentence expander and it will do just that, okay? Let's go ahead and summarize uh, this blog. So we just tell Jarvis what we want it to do. So create a summary of this text. Okay, so that wasn't the best output, so let's try a different sentence. Okay, let's try it again with summarize this document. It's still not what we want, so I'm going to do create a summary of the text above. And that looks quite good. Now, what I've just shown you is only scratching at the surface of what Jarvis is actually capable of and this new boss mode. I'm going to need a lot more time playing around with it to get the ins and outs. But if you go through my channel, you'll see a 30 day uh, case study talking about Quora and, you know, how I've been utilizing uh, Jarvis and Quora. You probably want to know about the pricing. Well, the pricing is currently in the launch stage of boss mode, which is going to cost you $119 a month, which means that if you're already on the pro plan for $109 a month, that's only $10 extra. And then per extra user will cost you $50 or at the moment during launch stage is actually $40. So you're looking at $119. And if you want extra users on it, $40 a month as well. Now that offer actually expires on Friday. So if you're watching this video after I'm not sure what the price is going to be in the webinar the first price that they spoke about was $249 a month so anyone who gets in now or before Friday uh, not only uh, gets locked in price 
but they also get a t-shirt that says uh, boss mode which actually is pretty cool and i'm looking forward to receiving mine now if you have any questions at all go ahead and leave a comment below i'll do my best to answer them but this is brand new functionality and i'm so excited to start diving in and truly see what everything is capable of